just joined Rupert here on the JCB stand at Agri Technica. Just going to ask you very briefly, what's your role within JCB and have you just outlined yep. what's new for JCB at the show this year? Okay, so welcome to uh, Agri Technica 2017. My name is Rupert Bradley, I'm a product specialist for JCB. At the show here we've got many of our wheel loaders. We've got our contract to spec wheel loaders with a high power to weight ratio. We've got a 457, a 435S and a 419S here and also a 403 compact wheel loader. <laughs> there's, a little, there's just a little bit of difference. A small difference in, in between the two. And then we also have our TM uh, wheel loaders over there as well um, to complement the range. Any new releases for JCB at the show this year? So we've got our 403 as I mentioned, we launched that in 2016. So it's still a relatively new product to us. A brand new machine for the show is obviously the 420. It is a bigger machine than 320, more lift capacity. So it'll offer those bigger, larger scale farms, uh, hopefully what they want. And then also, of course, we have the 419S we launched in, in around March time, earlier in the year. The 419S, um, from what I can see, just from jumping up into that cab, that's your, the latest and greatest cab. I think, is it a contractor? Yeah. Plus we, call it or? We've expected to be Contractor pl uh, Pro. It's basically the com Command Plus cab, but with all the, the creature comforts you want when you're doing a long day's work. So you've got in there a refrigerator box, you've got a carpet to keep the operator nice and comfy, leather seat, heated and ventilated as well, um, as well as all the ergonomic controls located inside the cab. And it's still the same, the donkey, the same engine that's in the, the 435 Evas and all the rest of it, but it's now yeah. add blue, so there's no yeah, no DPF, you've got yeah. the Cummings engine, 183 horsepower, so you're getting a, a phenomenal power to weight ratio. If you see on here, we're getting 17.2 horsepower per tonne, so it gives you that yeah. really impressive pushing performance. And on the, the, one, the one noticeable difference I see just coming from the predecessors is um, you've somehow managed to get the bigger wheels on it. Yeah. So you, you've changed the axles, I believe. And yeah, so it's a bigger machine, it's actually a bit heavier than the older machine. So it gives you a number of benefits on the clamp, you get much better compaction. But because we've made the machine bigger, we've upgraded the axles. So that's actually allowed us to offer the big 750s that you can see on, on the machine here, which is exactly what you'll be getting on the 435 as well. Is the 419S the answer? It's the answer for those, those, you know, those smaller farmers. You know, it's not a replacement of the 435, of course, that still has a home. But for the smaller farms where you still need that output, You've got the answer here, so of course, yes, it is the answer. We are on the Crone stand at Agri Technica. We are just looking at this strange invention of a cab of a new harvester. It's just coming down as we speak there. So I'm going to bounce straight over to uh, Henrik, Henrik Fieldman. What have you done here with this? Why, why lift the cab? Why lower the cab? What's that all about? Well, we, uh, we have found over the years that our operators that operate machines, they want to be more confident and they want to have like better overview. And since the trailers got bigger and bigger, as you can see in the background of the stand, our operators want better overview, especially with the maize that we've got. With the biogas, we're farming about 6 million acres of maize, and uh, that's a lot to chop, actually. And when you lift the cap by 70 centimeters, which is uh, what we do, um, already you get a perfect overview over the field. When you open it, you can see into the trailer again and you can see what's happening next in the field. Well, basically this is uh, one of the features of your new Big X that's been launched here at Agri Technica. Joined with you here is Stephen Scrivener from Farmhand, which is the Irish importer. So if I've got this right, Henrik, you sort of look after the account, or you look after the business that's done through Farmhand in Ireland from the factory directly, or maybe you could explain a little bit about what you do, and when we'll see if Stephen's going to be able to sell any of these machines in Ireland. <laughs> <laughs> well, half and half. Uh, I've worked in the export department, looking after Ireland and a few other countries uh, for nearly seven years, until last year, and I moved on to product marketing. So, uh, well, now basically I'm responsible to market those products and support, of course, our importers and sales partners around the world uh, with their needs and uh, with their marketing ideas to get the machines in the market. What about my needs? Your needs will always be covered. Oh, so, well, that's uh, that's you're well, going to get a know. direct phone number from me, so that'll do. <laughs> well, Stephen, what do you think of this latest Big X? It's beautiful. Look at her. 
Uh, unbelievable. Blown away, boys. Uh, really looking forward to getting one into Ireland. There's already, already a few contractors who uh, are calling, who are looking. And uh, yeah, we can't wait to get one into Irish grass and see what she can do. It does take the Irish grass to test them though, Steve. Ah, it does. Ah, yeah. You know, that has been yeah. proven over the years with a, with a lot of the crone machines. But that's one of the reasons we at Grassmen love crone is because they have really listened to the, the, the views and opinions of everyone. I presume that goes around the globe, Henrik, but like we have looked, you know, the moors, the Irish conditions, and the changes are always being made and they are getting every year leaps and bounds improvements are coming. That's how we feel anyway. You are really actively listening to the customer. Or? Uh, well, that's one of our duties and of uh, our well main focuses is listening to our customers. I could tell you like right away off the spot, like about 10 solutions that we offer in our machines such as, let's say, multi bale in a big pack, uh, lift cap as well, was literally a customer's idea that said this might be good. And we're listening to that and, uh, of course, to the problems of our customers. And then we are, well, trying to fix it, trying to give them solutions and be close to the customer. That's what uh, we definitely want to do. And this is what uh, we will do in the future as well. Something else that's uh, finally released here that we can now see in the flesh instead of looking at it under the camouflage kit that you've been <laughs> on, Stephen. <laughs> So what, what's that other beautiful machine on the other side of the stand here? Yeah, the big M450. So um, we had to keep a little bit under wraps, literally under wraps when it was in Ireland. We had four test machines in Ireland over two seasons. And uh, it just really shows, as you say, Crohn's commitment to uh, getting a product that's gonna be right for the end user, for the customer. So it doesn't matter if it's a huge market in our experience or Ireland, one of their smallest markets, they, they do listen. And they once again, Ireland is a, a little bit of a funny one because Ireland has a great uh, history and passion for big M's, yeah. <laughs> particularly big M's, whereas I suppose maybe different countries look towards the more combinations. So like, it is a machine you will be looking to get a few out there and sold, I am assuming. And Definitely, we have a really strong following in the Big M. We have since we started taking them in, what's it, about 15 years ago now. Uh, we have diehard Big M uh, fans and people who own them just said there's nothing else like a Big M to cook grass. Uh, and we weren't tempted to, to, go, to go for a, a second uh, tractor and butter flies because we like the Big M exceedingly well. There nothing can mow like a Big M. Nothing on, on this earth. Is there anything else new on the stand this year that would be of particular interest to the Irish market? Um, well, I think the new Big X is really causing a stir. Another one, it's not new on the stand this year, but the Primos. Uh, we get people calling maybe once a month saying, once that machine comes into the country, we want to put our name on one. So that's a really exciting machine and really a breakthrough machine for, for any manufacturer. But you need too many horses. <laughs> <laughs> this we man only, is going to look we, after that for us. <laughs> we, only, we only have small horses. <laughs> yeah, well, we get the big horses in the country, and there might be solutions to solve that problem as well. So, um, well, we're, we're working hard on it because we find it's not just like Ireland. It's a, it's very interesting markets all around the world that never got in touch with us uh, with us because all of a sudden. We're like serving not just farmers or contractors, we're already, well, with a pellet, we're serving industry as well, straw industry. And, uh, well, there's people all around the world and that's why we are working very hard on it. Plus, of course, on that stationary solution so you can take a tractor, travel around the farms and, well, pelletize their yeah. bales in the winter. So that's an all year round sort of thing for a contractor, which gets it interesting again. You're confident? that there will be a market for the Primos in Ireland, Stephen? Absolutely, yeah, we were, um, we didn't think so when we came out. When it came out, we saw the concept and said it's a really cool product, but I'm not sure if Irish people would be interested, but the people I've spoken to are deadly serious. So what's the next big plan for Crone? What are we doing? Well, get at least, well, bigger, wider, faster. There's, at some stage, there's gonna be little limits. We're gonna stay innovative. We wanna stay um, close to the customer and we want to stay reliable because this is what counts for us and that's the customer in the end of the day because if the customer is happy, we are happy. And just would also like to take this opportunity to thank Stephen and Crone for supporting us in the 32 County Beal Challenge that we did last year. You supplied us with the, the round baler combination which we, we thoroughly enjoyed and, and, and I have to say particularly when we got it home, 
and we got it put onto the old 1455 case and we, we were really able to show off what the baler can do with its onboard hydraulics and, and all the rest of it. So well, thank you very much for that. But the sting in the tail is simple. It's got me thinking about another plan for 2018. So uh, I'll let you get the show over, but if you are up for it, well, I wouldn't mind coming and having a wee chat with you two and uh, see if we can put something down for next year. I have a wee ambitious project. Is that all right, guys? Uh, thank you very much. Looking forward to that. Yeah, uh, We love working Perfect. with grassmen, so we can't wait. Day two is almost over for us here at the Grassmen. We've just been doing our wee tour around the, the stands. We've called into uh, the Deutsch stand. We've caught up with Graham here. Graham, what exactly is your role within Deutsch in the UK? I'm Marcus, marketing manager for UK and Ireland. There's a number of uh, UK uh, representative staff here because, as you know, there's a good following uh, from the UK and Ireland for both dealers uh, and, uh, and customers as well. Uh, we're using the opportunity. We're launching the, the new 7 Series Warrior and behind me, the 9 Series Warrior as well. Uh, the first incarnation of the 7 Series was launched um, uh, two years ago and for our markets was really fantastic. A great product, very, very well received. So here we are again, uh, a limited edition run in black um, with some added features as well, also available in the classic Deutsch Fire Green as well yeah. for both the 7 Series and the 9 Series. Well, the one thing I'll just jump in and say, like a lot of manufacturers have tried to pull off a black tractor here and there, but there's one thing I have to give Deutsch credit for. I think you have managed to pull off the black tractor with the Warrior and make it look really cool. Yeah. Would you agree? Is that absolutely, how it's absolutely. taken from and here? I, and I, I suppose you could argue, I would say this, but I think the styling of both the 7 and the 9 series really set off the, the Black Warrior Limited Edition. We team it with Gisario Design as well. We were famous for all of automotive um, design as well, and we've teamed up with them for a number of years now. With this 9 series behind us, 9, 340, was that what that means, 340 horsepower? Yes, basically, 336 maximum power, yeah. And the 7250 is 246 horsepower as well. So. And once uh, our latest DVD comes out, which is called Rain and Green. We actually had uh, two two Deutsch in it. We had the uh, 6165 uh, RC shift, the, yep. the latest and greatest, and we also had a blast from the past for me, uh, a 451 Agro Prima, mm -hmm. which I absolutely adore, yep. and it's a tractor from my youth. So um, there's been an awful lot of changes when you look at those two tractors inside yes. 30 years. Are Deutsch going from strength to strength? Because back then I would have considered them one of the greatest tractors around. Absolutely, absolutely. They were very much pioneering of that time, air-cooled technology as well, you know, which yeah. people uh, often associate Deutsch with. Things have moved on dramatically, and we're certainly going from strength to strength. We've now got a full, uh, brand new product offering. We've launched from 80 horsepower up to 340 horsepower in the last two years, tier four, tier four final product as well, and you can see the results of it here. The design team have really got involved because we, uh, we, we've we nicknamed it the Transformer. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it's got that sort of look about it, most you, you definitely. Yeah. It to. Well, if you were to give us the loan of a tractor for a little period of time, what tractor would you like us to take if you were looking at, because obviously, grass men like to yep. do on the stands and show off what would be the tractor you would if you were getting to pick a tractor to give to me for a few weeks what would you pick i think the obvious one would probably be the the seven series warrior gareth as much as anything else um, the six series is very much our lead product within in the yes. uk and ireland from 155 horsepower to 226 both in rc shift transmission fully automatic robotized or you've got a cvt transmission which is our ttv range as well the black warrior and the, the would be something there for the triple moors or something good you have a brand new state-of-the-art factory yes just built in germany yeah um is it, could we get maybe ever get a chance if we could could we get out sometime get a look around it and i would get a wee very much made? like to, i would like to think so gareth absolutely uh, we invested 90 million euros on a brand new facility from the ground up uh, on the existing or next to the existing site in the, the lowingham factory as well um, and it really is uh, a state-of-the-art facility. If you're up for it, we'll maybe hook up, do something next year, and we can uh, get uh, our local dealer, Ewell Keen, involved. Involved, and very much can so. Do something. Yeah, yeah. and let's see what we can well, do. Look, yeah. Thank you, Brilliant. have a great rest of the week at the show, and uh, we'll be in touch. Brilliant, thank you, Gareth. Thank you, guys. Perfect.